Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous paint box crochet blanket. It can also be a bed runner or a wrap. In this easy to follow step-by-step -step crochet tutorial, I show you how to crochet this paint box polka dot blanket using basic crochet stitches. So even if you're a beginner, you can do it. If English isn't your first language, you can click this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. And if you want to follow along with written pattern, all of my patterns are written in plain English and available on my website, secretyarnery.com. This easy to follow step-by-step -step crochet tutorial is available in both right and left-handed, so please check the description box down below to find the version that suits you best. Whether you drape it over your shoulders as a wrap for a night out or spread it over your bed as a stylish accent, this piece effortlessly blends comfort, fun, and whimsy. This stunning bed runner is solid stitches, so it's perfect for anyone who doesn't like holes in their crochet. For my paint box blanket, I used four weight worsted acrylic, or 10 ply if you're in Australia. Most of it is saver from Ice Yarns, but I also have used some local Kenyan acrylic to get the color variety that I needed. This pattern would also work out great with a DK weight yarn or an eight ply if you're in Australia. Just use the hook size suggested on the yarn label. I used 21 colors for my polka dots and two neutrals, one for the joining and one for the border. You'll need 15 grams of each color for your polka dots, 400 grams for the joining, and 200 grams for the border. I am using a six millimeter crochet hook for this project. You will also need 21 stitch markers, a pair of scissors, and a needle for sewing in your ends. Here are the timestamps. So you can jump back into where we left off and let's get started. So go ahead and get all of your yarn colors together that you want to use for your polka dots and let's make a flat circle. To make the flat circle, you can start either with a magic knot or a chain three. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a chain three. So make a slip knot and chain three. One, two, and three into the very first chain you made. So you don't count what's on your hook and you don't count this little knot. We're just gonna be looking for this stitch right on top of the knot and we're gonna go right into that stitch. It doesn't matter how many loops you get on the top of your hook. Just push your hook in. And now we wanna arrange it into a nice U shape underneath our hook. And also lay your tail along that U shape and give it a bit of a pull. I'm holding on my yarn some tension on my working yarn and pulling that down to hold it open with my finger and thumb and make a slip stitch. So that forms our ring. I'm still holding it open, finger and thumb, and chain two. One, two. This does not count as anything. This is just a chain two to get our height. So wrap your yarn and 12 double crochets into the center of that ring, right where you're holding it open. So there's one, two, three. If you're running out of space, you can grab that chain and the ring and slide your stitches back and that'll give you a lot more room to work your stitches around. So keep going until you have 12 double crochets into the center of your ring. To count your stitches, ignore the chain two, just count your real double crochets. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. When you have your 12 double crochets, we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that first real double crochet. So ignore your chain two. This here, we're gonna ignore it. And right on top of that first real double crochet, that is where we're gonna slip stitch. So put your hook in, two strands of that stitch on your hook, and slip stitch. Chain two one and two and now we're going to work right into that same stitch so right after our chain two there's a little space a little stitch and we're going to work right into that space so wrap your yarn and two double crochets into that same stitch one and two 
And now we're going to do two double crochets into each stitch, working all the way around. So each of these stitches gets two double crochets. One and two. And now pause the video and keep going around doing two double crochets into each stitch all the way around until you get to where we started. When you get back to where you started, we're just going to count our stitches just to make sure. We need 24 for this round. So 12 double crochets for the first round and 24 for the second. And we're again ignoring that chain two. So into each stitch, there should be two double crochets. Now we're going to slip stitch again to the top of that first real double crochet. So not our chain two. There's our first chain right down here in that little tiny, that little tiny stitch hiding. This is our second. Our first real double crochet is this big guy right here. And if you pull it up, you'll see that that is connected to that first real double crochet. So put your hook in, two strands of that stitch on your hook, and slip stitch. To start round three, chain two, one, and two. And we're going to make one double crochet into that same stitch right here. So wrap your yarn, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. and into the next two double crochets. So we're alternating doing one double crochet and two double crochets all the way around for this row. So every other stitch is an increase. One double crochet, and then two double crochets. One and two. So into the next stitch, one double crochet, and into the stitch after that, two double crochets. One and two. So now pause the video and keep going around, alternating making one double crochet and two double crochets into each stitch all the way around until you get back to where we started. Into the last stitch before our join, you should end on an increase, so two double crochets into that stitch. That's just a little checkpoint to make sure that probably you did it right. And go ahead and count your stitches now. So for this round, we want 36 stitches. And now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that first real double crochet. So put your hook in two strands of that stitch on your hook and slip stitch to join. We're gonna start round four the same way. So chain two, one, and two. And into that same stitch, right where our chain came from, we're gonna do our first double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into that first stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet into the next stitch. So double crochet, double crochet, and then two double crochets. There's one and two. Into the same stitch. So there is one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets one and two so into the next two stitches one double crochet into each one and two and into the next two double crochets into the same stitch so we're spacing out our increases more and more each round and this round the repeat is one double crochet one double crochet, two double crochets. Like that. An easy way of remembering is just counting along. So we say one, two, and increase. So that is two double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, increase, two double crochets into the same stitch. 
So pause the video and keep working your way around, doing one, two, increase, one, two, increase, all the way around until you reach where we joined. Now into the last three stitches, it's kind of like a self-check. You want to make sure that you have your one, two, and increase into that last stitch. One and two. Just like that. And now count your stitches for this round, ignoring your chain two, and make sure that you have 48 stitches. So we finish round four by doing a slip stitch to the top of our first real double crochet right here. And make sure you get two strands of that stitch on your hook. And slip stitch. To start round five, chain two, one, and two. And into this very first stitch, that is where we start our first double crochet. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the same stitch. And we're going to do three double crochets for this round in between our increases. So we've done one, here is two, here is three, and into the next stitch our increase. So two double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, three, and increase. One and two into the same stitch. So we're gonna keep going around this row doing three double crochets in between our increases. So just count it out. One, two, three, and an increase. So increases are two double crochets into the same stitch. Just like that. So pause the video and work your way all the way around, making three double crochets and then an increase. And I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. At the end of this row, you'll have four stitches left. And that's just right for our one, two, three, and increase into the last stitch. If yours doesn't end like this, just go back and count your stitches. It doesn't really matter if you're off by a stitch here or there, it'll still be a circle. Just make sure that you end with 60 stitches for this round. Go ahead and count, make sure you have your 60 stitches for this round. And we're gonna slip stitch again to the top of our first real double crochet. So make sure you get both strands of that stitch on your hook. Bring your yarn back and just make a nice little slip stitch. Chain one and cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn down and snug that down to secure. If you worked over your tail in the beginning, you can cut that one off now. And sew in this tail also. For the border, we're gonna be making these small polka dots, super easy to do. To make your polka dots, you can just use a small scrap of yarn, whatever matches the polka dots from your main blanket. And we're gonna start with a chain three, so just a slip knot and a chain three. So one, two, and three. We're gonna slip stitch into that very first chain to join. Just pop your hook into that first chain. We wanna make a little U shape. We want our tail following along with our chain, holding it along your work, and hold it open with your finger and thumb, and slip stitch to form a ring. Still holding it open, I'm not gonna let go of that, and chain two, one, and two. Now into the center of your ring, we're gonna do 12 double crochets. So 12 double crochets into the center of your ring, and we're gonna be going over our tail. There's two, three. So you can pause the video, keep working ahead. 12 double crochets into the center of your ring, and I'll meet you when we have them done. We're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet to join. So into the top of the first double crochet, slip stitch to join chain one, and into that very same stitch, right there, we're gonna put two single crochets. One, and two. And now into each stitch all the way around, so our next stitch is right here, and all the way around each stitch, we're gonna do two single crochets into each stitch. So there's one, 
and two into the next stitch, two single crochets, and into the next stitch, two single crochets. So you can pause the video, keep working around, two single crochets into each stitch, all the way around, and I will meet you when we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, we're gonna slip stitch right into this stitch right there, just that first single crochet we made. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join and chain one to secure your yarn. Now you can cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. If you worked around your center tail, we can just cut that one off. And our long tail, we're gonna sew that in. So just bring it down into that center area and sew it around a little bit and then snip that one off as well. So pause the video and make all of your circles, two of each color for the middle if you're doing like mine. And I will meet you when all of your circles are done. To turn your circle into a square, we're gonna look for our join and you can see it here where we have that line going up, where we did our chain two, all the way up here with our chain one, our slip stitch in chain one, we're gonna put our hook right in between those two stitches. So right in between the first double crochet and that chain two, just right in there. So put your hook in and grab a loop of your joining yarn and put it onto your hook. You wanna leave a long enough tail to sew in with a needle, so four or five inches. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the back side of your work. And chain two, one, two. If you join your yarn in a different way, you wanna do a chain three. Wrap your yarn and into that same stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. And into the stitch after that, one double crochet. Now drop your tail. Wrap your yarn into the next two stitches, one half double crochet into each. So one half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're gonna do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're gonna do the opposite of what we did when we started. So we're gonna do two half double crochets, one into each stitch. So there's one half double and our second half double and now two double crochets, one into each stitch. There's our first double crochet and our second double crochet. So that just evens out what we've done along this side and we're ready to do our corner into the next stitch. So our corners are always gonna be two double crochets, one and two, all into the same stitch, a chain two, and two more double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. So there's our corner. And now we're gonna start our next side. So that starts with two double crochets, one into each stitch. So one and two. Two half double crochets, one into each stitch. There's our first half double crochet and our second half double crochet, and now six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're gonna build back up to our corner, so two half double crochets, one into each stitch, half double, there's our first, Here's our second. And then two double crochets, one into each stitch. One and two. And now we're gonna do our corner into the next stitch. Corners are two double crochets, one 
and two, chain two, one and two, and two more double crochets all into that same stitch. One and two. Now building down from our corner, so we're gonna do two double crochets, one into each stitch. There's one and two. Two half double crochets, one into each stitch. There's one and two. And six single crochets along the side, one into each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Building up to our next corner, we start with two half double crochets, one into each stitch. Here's our first, here's our second, and now two double crochets, one into each stitch. There's our first, and here is our second. And into the next stitch, we do our corner. So corners are two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets all into the same stitch. So there's my first two double crochets and my chain two. So finishing that with two double crochets. And now building down from our corner, so two double crochets, one into each stitch. There's one and two. Two half double crochets, one into each stitch. One and two. And six single crochets along this side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have four stitches left. One, two, three, and four. And that is for our two half doubles and our two double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into that next stitch. One half double crochet, one half double into the next stitch. And now our double crochets. One double crochet and into the last stitch one double crochet. And this little stitch here, that's our chain. It doesn't really count as anything, so we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna work right into our corner space right over here. And that's where we're gonna finish our corner. So two double crochets into that same space that we started in, or that same stitch. Two double crochets. Chain one. And we're going to make a single crochet to join. So just the top of this chain that we made right here, we're gonna do a one single crochet to join. And that's gonna leave us in the middle of our corner. So put your hook in, bring your yarn back and make one single crochet. And that finishes row six or our first row of turning it into a square. To start round seven, chain three, one, two, and three. And into that same space, that corner space, one double crochet. Now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Our first stitch is our chain, so I'm just gonna make it into that big hole right there. And our second stitch, I'm gonna pick up this front loop and match it up with that loop at the back. So our first double crochet goes into that chain, one double crochet. And our next one goes into that first real double crochet. So pick up that front loop, match it with the one at the back, and one double crochet. Now for round seven, we're gonna be doing three half double crochets, one into each stitch. So there's one, two, and three. And now eight single crochets, one into each stitch. So one, two, three, four, and eight. So to build up to our corner, we start with three half double crochets, one into each stitch. One, two, and three. And we have two stitches left, 
That is for our double crochets, one into each stitch. So one double crochet and our second double crochet. And now into that corner space, we're gonna do our corner. And corners are two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So there's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Into the first two stitches, we're gonna make double crochets, one into each stitch. So one double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the second. Now three half double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And now eight single crochets, one into each stitch along the side. One, two, three, four, and eight. We have five stitches left, so three half double crochets and two double crochets to build up to our corner. So one half double, our second half double, and our third half double. And now two double crochets, one into each of the next two stitches. So there is one, and two. Our corner, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and two more double crochets into that same corner space. And now we're gonna work along this side, doing the same thing. Two double crochets, three half doubles, eight singles, three half doubles, and two doubles. So into the first stitch, double crochet. One and two. Into the next three stitches, one half double into each. One, two, and three. Eight single crochets, one into each stitch along the flat side. One, two, three, four, and eight. Three half double crochets, one into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And into the last two stitches, two double crochets, one into each. One double crochet and our second double crochet. Into our corner, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, all into that same corner space. One, two, chain two. Two more double crochets into that corner space. And now we're gonna work along our last side. So we start with two double crochets, one into each stitch, one and two. Three half double crochets, one into each stitch, one, two, and three, and now eight single crochets along this side. One, two, three, four, and eight. So you have five stitches left. The next three half double crochets to build up to our corner. One, two, and three. And into the last two stitches, double crochets, one into each. So one and two. Now we're back at the corner where we started. So we're gonna finish our corner with two double crochets. One, 
and two, chain two, one and two, and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. So we're just gonna slip stitch right into that top of the chain three, making sure to get two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. So push your hook in and slip stitch to join. And that finishes row seven. You wanna get all of your circles up to this stage. So go ahead and get all of your circles up to row seven. So they all have two rows of turning into a square and sew in your tails, it does help. When you have all of your squares completed and your ends sewn in, we are ready to join up your squares. So lay out your blocks the way you want your blanket to be. So here is my first row, my second row, my third row, etc. And now stack them up the order you're gonna crochet them. So we're gonna start crocheting in our top, uh, in our top corner. So I'm gonna put that one first. So here is row one row two, row three, and you're gonna do that for all of your rows. We're gonna start with row one. So put your other rows in order, just off to the side. So we're gonna start with our very first block. So put your, the rest of your first row off to the side and get your joining yarn. Now find a corner, not the corner where we've done all of our joining, but find a different corner, doesn't matter which one. Pop in your hook loop of your joining yarn onto your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, so about four or five inches. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, but just hold it along that corner, just along the top of your work, and chain two, one and two. That counts as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into that same corner space and one double crochet into each stitch. So we're just doing double crochet all the way around this square. So one double crochet into each stitch all the way along this side. Drop your tail after a couple stitches. We need to work it back in the opposite direction. So one double crochet into each stitch all the way along and I'll meet you when we get to the corner. When we get to your corner space, we're gonna do our regular corner, which is two double crochets, one, and two, chain two, one and two. Rotate your work a little bit so we can work along the next side. And two more double crochets into that same space. One and two. So now keep going, making one double crochet into each stitch along the sides and corners of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets all the way around this first block until you get back to where we started. If you're new to crochet, you can pop a stitch marker into the top of your first chain three, and that'll just mark where we're gonna join our yarn and finish this round. So now pause the video and keep going, making one double crochet into each stitch along the side, and into each corner space, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. When you get back to that corner with your stitch marker or the corner where we joined, just finish that off with our two double crochets, one and two, chain two, one and two. Remove your stitch marker and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Just right here, the top of the chain three, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook and slip stitch. Chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And now this is how big our blocks are going to be. They'll still stretch once we put them together or once we start using our blanket. But right now our blocks are eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. And you can use that measurement to decide how many blocks you're gonna need for your width and the height of the blanket you want to make. So now we're going to build our row along the top of our blanket. And we're gonna join all of these blocks, the first row on one side. So we're gonna complete the double crochet round all the way around on three sides of our block. 
So with our next block, we're gonna be joining. Do the same thing again. Put your hook into any corner. Loop of yarn on your hook. Leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, holding it along the top of your work for a couple stitches, and chain two. One, two. If you join your yarn in a different way, do a chain three. One double crochet into the same space. And one double crochet into each stitch. So keep working your way around your second block, same as we did for our first block, all the way around. And we're gonna stop leaving one side open. So instead of putting our stitch marker where we started our round, we're gonna put our stitch marker into the corner before. And that's just gonna mark where we're gonna stop. We want one side left open so we can join as you go. So pause the video, work all the way around, one double crochet into each stitch, and corners, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. When you get to your stitch marker, we're just gonna start our corners. We're just gonna do two double crochets into that corner space. So one, and two, and we can take that stitch marker out. Now get the square you've already finished. It doesn't matter what side uh, that you lay towards you, but put it above you in your workspace. Working on a desk or a table really helps, just because everything's flat and it doesn't move around. And chain one. Now we're gonna put our hook down into this corner space, the matching corner space all the way down through our work. Hold your yarn, grab your yarn and bring it up through that space. Turn your hook and slip stitch. So that is our very first join. Now we're gonna do our double crochet back into our corner space to finish our corner. So there's our first double crochet of this side. Now I'm holding my yarn nice and tight and bring your hook down, so fold your work towards yourself and you'll see that very first stitch right here. That is our first stitch. So always make sure that you bring your hook down or your hook can cover up that first stitch and you'll go into the second stitch. So bring your hook down into that first stitch, put your hook down into your work, grab a little bit of that yarn and bring it up, turn your hook and slip stitch to join. One more double crochet into that corner space. So that finishes our corner. Fold your hook down towards you. Look for that next stitch right here. Put your hook down into your work. Bring your yarn up and through. And slip stitch to join. Double crochet into your work. So into that first stitch, one double crochet. Bring your hook down and look for that next stitch right here. Put your hook down into your work, grab that yarn and bring it through, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into your work. Bring your hook down, look for your next stitch right here. Put your hook down into your work bring your yarn up and slip stitch to join. Double crochet into your work. Bring your hook down. Look for your next stitch right here. Put your hook down into your work. Bring your yarn up and through and slip stitch to join. So there's our join so far. So we're gonna be making a double crochet into the block we are joining. And a slip stitch into the same stitch above on the block we've already finished. So there's our slip stitch. So double crochet into your work. Slip stitch into your finished block. Double crochet into your work. Slip stitch into the block you've already finished. So 
So we're just gonna keep going along like this. I think of it as making letter I's. So I do, my double crochet is my letter I. There's my double crochet or my letter I. And then I wanna dot my I but with my slip stitch. So my slip stitch is the dot on top of my I. So you go double crochet or letter I and slip stitch or dot your I. So you just kind of keep working along your row, making sure you're going down into your work and it ends up with this gorgeous, nice flat join. And it's the exact same as just doing your regular row of double crochet, except you are dotting your I or making your slip stitch and it's a really quick and easy way to join. So pause the video and keep working along this row, making your double crochet or your letter I into the block you're joining and your slip stitch or the dot on your I into the block you've already finished. When you get close to your corner, I've done my last double crochet and my last slip stitch of the actual row. Now I just have my corner space left and my corner stitches above. So don't worry, it, it feels like it doesn't line up, but just keep going to the end and it will. So when you get to your corner space, you need to do your two double crochets into your corner space of the block you're joining. So the first one, bring your hook down and slip stitch into that next stitch to join. And your last double crochet into the block you're joining. And now instead of going into this last stitch here, that last stitch right before the join. If your stitch count doesn't line up and you need to go into this stitch, go ahead and do it. But generally, you just work straight into that corner space to finish it off. So that's kind of like a little, a little safety stitch right there. If you need it, it's there. If you don't need it, you skip right over into that corner space and make your slip stitch. Chain one. Rotate your work a little bit. Now find the top of your chain three, right there, the top of your chain, and we're gonna slip stitch to join. So put your hook in, two strands of that chain on your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. So now we've done two of our polka dots together. We've joined one side. So now you're gonna keep doing the same thing, just building the top row of your blanket. So doing three sides of your double crochet and joining on the one side. So keep going, joining all the blocks on one side on the top row of your blanket. And I will meet you when we are starting the second row. So ready to start the second row. I just laid out my polka dots to make sure that they're the same order that I want them to be in. And go ahead and just leave out the one you're gonna be starting with on this side. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did for joining our first row, except we're gonna be joining down here. So go ahead and finish three sides of the square you're gonna be joining next. So to start a new row, do double crochets on three sides of your next square and lay it down underneath the row that you've already completed. And the trick is we wanna join kitty corner. We wanna join into this block over here. Not straight above, we wanna start our very first join into the corner space of our neighboring block. So I've done my two double crochets into that corner space. So chain one, and into that neighboring block or that opposite space. And that is where we're gonna start our slip stitch. So bring up that loop of yarn onto your hook and now put your hook back down into the block you're gonna be joining to and bring your yarn up. So there's three loops on your hook. Turn your hook and wiggle it through all of those stitches. Just like that. We want a nice tight join in our corners and double crochet into the corner space of the block you're joining. Now we can kind of relax our tension a bit because we've made that double crochet. Pull your hook down and work into that very first stitch with a slip stitch to join and double crochet back into the corner space. So you want to make sure your corners always have two double crochets into the corner space. So now we're just going to be joining the way we did for the first row. So slip stitch into the block you have finished and a double crochet into the stitch of the block you are working on. Slip stitch above, 
double crochet below all the way along. So now it's exactly like we did for our other joins. So just pause the video and keep working along, making a double crochet into your work, pulling your hook down and making a slip stitch into the next stitch above all the way until you reach the corner. At the end of the row, we just have to finish off the way we normally did. So your corner gets the same two double crochets, one into a stitch, and that tail's right in the way, that's a bit awkward. Single crochet, and our last double crochet into the corner space. And this one is gonna go straight into the space. So slip stitch into the space and chain one. Now we're going to slip stitch the top of the chain three to finish off. So right into the top of that chain, two strands of that stitch on your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. To join the blocks in the center of a row, we're going to be joining on two sides, which means we're just going to be doing double crochet on two sides. So pause the video and do your double crochet onto two sides and I will meet you when we start our join. So I finished my double crochet on two sides and I'm ready to join into this block here. So we're just gonna start our first join, our first slip stitch, right over into the block kitty corner or up and to the side. So get that into your working space. I've done my two double crochets, so chain one. And now into that space of the neighboring block, bring your yarn up into the block you're going to be joining to. Put your hook back down inside and bring that yarn up again. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Turn your hook and slip stitch through all of that to do your join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into our space of the block we're working on. Now we can relax our tension and into that first stitch. So just pull your hook down so you can see that stitch. Put your hook down into that stitch and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and double crochet back into that corner space. We need to have two double crochets into our corner. Fold your work down or bring your hook towards yourself and hook down into the next stitch. Slip stitch to join and double crochet into our first stitch. Slip stitch to join. And now keep going along this side, making your one double crochet into the block you're joining and slip stitching into the block you have completed all the way along until we get closer to the corner. When you get to your corner, we need to make sure we have our two double crochets into that corner space. So our first double crochet, and this one goes into the stitch. Just pull your hook down and look for that stitch right here and slip stitch to join. And our last double crochet into the corner. And this one's gonna go into the spaces. So we finished our last double crochet of that corner. So down into the first space of the block we just joined, down into the block across, bringing it up. Rotate your work. We always want the block we are joining to up above us in our workspace and down into that last corner. So we've gone into three corners and we have four loops on our hook. So now rotate your hook a little bit so the hook part is facing down and wiggle it through all of those stitches. Chain one. Just to secure all of that together. And now work into our corner again. We need two double crochets into our corner space on this side. So there's our first double crochet. Bring your hook down and into the first stitch, your slip stitch. Slip stitch to join. And into the corner space again. Remember we need two double crochets into each corner on each side. 
So there's two and slip stitch into the block we have finished to join. And now keep working along this row, going into each stitch with a double crochet and going into the block you have finished with a slip stitch all the way along until you get to the end of this side. When you get to the end of your row, just remember you have to put those two double crochets into this side of your corner. So our first double crochet into the stitch and our second double crochet, we're going to slip stitch into the space. And that's going to finish off this side. So slip stitch and chain one. Rotate your work a little bit. And into the top of your chain, just that stitch, we're going to slip stitch to join. So two strands of that stitch on our hook. And slip stitch to join. Chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. To join the last block of your row, we're going to be joining again on two sides. So complete two sides of the row eight or the double crochet row on your last block of the row and I'll meet you for the join. So now I've completed my two sides of round eight, my double crochets, and I'm ready to join right up here. So I've done my two double crochets and chain one. Now go down into that space and make one slip stitch to join and now into your corner. So our first double crochet, pull your hook down and look for that stitch, slip stitch to join. Our second double crochet into the corner, slip stitch to join. So pause the video and make one double crochet into the block you're joining and one slip stitch into the block you have finished all the way along until you reach your corner. So keep working your way along to get to that corner space. Into the corner are two double crochets. So our first double crochet just gets slip stitched normally into that stitch. It's a regular slip stitch. And our second double crochet into the corner. This is the one that's going to go into all the spaces. So get yourself situated. So we're going to put our hook first into this stitch here, the block we have already joined to. Then across, we're going to put it into the space kitty corner. And then we're going to put it into the space of the side of the block we're going to be joining to. So we're going to do one, two, and three. So into the first corner space. Bring your yarn up into the corner space across. Put your hook down and bring your yarn up. Rotate your work. We always want the block we're joining to above us in our workspace. And now down into the block we're going to be joining to next. So we have our four loops on our hook. We want it to be tight but not so tight that we can't get our hook through. So rotate your hook so the hook part is facing down and wiggle it through all those stitches. Just like that. Wrap your yarn. I'm still holding my yarn nice and tight so my corner stays snug and double crochet into that corner space. Bring your hook down and slip stitch into that first stitch. Wrap your yarn, one more double crochet into that corner space. Always remember our corners need two double crochets on each side. And now keep working along this way, just the way we always have been, making a double crochet into the block we are joining. And a slip stitch into the next stitch of the block we have finished. So pause the video and keep working along this side and I'll meet you at the end of the row. If you have a row that doesn't line up, you don't have enough stitches on the block you are joining, go back and check that very first stitch right after the corner and sure enough I did not go into this stitch. So that is a trouble spot where just keep an eye to make sure you've always gone into it and then go back and just pop that stitch in. Now when you get to your corner, your stitches will all line up. So double crochet into your space and slip stitch into the next stitch and our second double crochet into the space, into our corner space and that's going to slip stitch into the corner space of the block we have finished. Chain 
chain one, rotate your work. We're going to slip stitch to the top of our chain to join. Chain one again and cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug this down to secure. So now we've joined two rows of our blanket and we're just going to keep going joining row after row after row until all of our blocks are joined. So check the timestamps in the description box down below for starting a row, working in the middle of a row, or finishing a row. And then keep going until you've joined all of your blocks and I'll show you how to put a finishing edge around your entire blanket. When you have joined all of your polka dots together or all of your squares, also handy to do your ends. If you can just keep up on that, it'll help you at the end. We are ready to do one row all around the edge and that is going to space out our border or whatever we're doing around the edge. It'll just make it match because here we have two rows of double crochet and around the edge we only have one. So we're going to put one more row of double crochet but I'll show you how to keep your stitch count right so it doesn't start waffling out and turn into like a big floral ruffle around the edge. It'll stay nice and flat. So get the same color yarn as you did to turn your circles into squares and we're going to start in a corner. It doesn't matter which corner. So find that corner space and put your hook inside. Loop of your joining yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and just hold it along the top of your work for a couple stitches and chain two. One, two. If you join your yarn in a different way, do a chain three. Wrap your yarn one double crochet into that same corner space. And into our first stitch, one double crochet. And one double crochet into each stitch all the way along. I drop my tail after a couple stitches so I can work it in the opposite direction going back so it doesn't wiggle out later. So drop your tail and one double crochet into each stitch. So pause the video and make one double crochet into each stitch all the way along until we get to our first join. So I've worked into the last stitch and my next stitch will be into this uh, corner space. So we're going to go in to each of these corner spaces, but we're going to make a decrease. So start your first double crochet into the first space. So bring your yarn back, wrap and take off two, leaving those last two loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn and start your second double crochet into the other side of the join, that next space. Start your double crochet, wrap your yarn and take off two. Now you have three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So you're just finishing those double crochets together and turning two stitches into one stitch. And now keep going, making one double crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the next join. So at the next join, start your double crochet into the first space, leaving it on your hook, those last two loops. Start your second double crochet on the other side into the second space. Three loops on your hook, wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So we're gonna do that for every join and that is gonna keep our stitch count nice and even. That, that's the trick to having a nice flat border. So keep going like that all the way along and I'll meet you at the next corner. When you get to your corner, we're just gonna be doing a regular corner. So that is two double crochets into that corner space. One and two. Chain two. Rotate your work to start the new side. And two more double crochets into that same corner space. One and two. And remember after your corners, your very first stitch is right here. So it can be easy for these corner stitches to kind of cover up that first stitch, but just pull your stitches back so you can always see that first stitch and remind yourself to go into that very first stitch after your corners. Just like that. So now keep going, making one double crochet into each stitch. And for your joins, start your double crochet on one side of the join and start your second double crochet on the second side of the join and finish them together. So keep going with that all the way along and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. 
When you get back to the corner where we started, we'll just finish that corner with two double crochets. One and two. Chain two, one and two. And we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that chain to join. Just gonna slip stitch right into that top of the chain. Getting two strands of that stitch on your hook. So slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So sew in your tails and you're finished. So starting on the side that you want your polka dot to be, or the skinny side of your blanket, go ahead and put your hook into your corner with the pretty side of your blanket facing up. Loop of your joining yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna skip the first three stitches. One, two, and three. We're gonna work into the fourth. So into the fourth stitch, one single crochet. Chain two. Skip two stitches. One and two. Now we're gonna work into the third. And this is what we're gonna do all the way around our blanket. Single crochet into the third stitch. Chain two. Skip two. Single crochet into the third stitch. Chain two, skip two, one, two, into the third, one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, single crochet into the third. And we're gonna keep going along this edge of our blanket all the way along. So pause the video and keep doing a chain two, skip two, single crochet into the third, all the way along this side until you reach the corner. When we get to our corner, do your regular chain two and skip two into the corner space. One single crochet, chain two, one and two. Rotate your work a little bit and one more single crochet into this corner. So that is gonna be your corner, single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Chain two again, one, two. And right after our corners, we're gonna skip this first stitch as well. So we're gonna skip three, and that helps us line up into our corners. So skip one, two, and three, and we're gonna go right into this fourth stitch right here. So that's what we're gonna do after our corners, just to make sure that we always end in our corners, just to make sure our corners always line up. So now keep working along your blanket, doing a chain two, skip two, single crochet into the third, and corners of single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, skip three. So that is how we're gonna work all the way around our blanket. So pause the video and I will meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where you joined, just finish up that side, so your chain two, and a single crochet into that same corner space. Chain one, and now we're gonna use a single crochet to join. So we're gonna go right in between the legs of that first stitch we made. So into that first stitch, bring your yarn back and make one single crochet. So that is gonna leave us in the middle of that corner a lot better than a slip stitch would. Chain one and turn your work. Now into that same space, that corner space right there, we are going to make one single crochet. Into the stitch, one single crochet. Into the space, two single crochets. One and two. Into the stitch, one single crochet. And into the space, two single crochets. One and two. So we're gonna work along our blanket, making one single crochet into the stitch and two single crochets into each space all the way along. So pause the video and keep going, making two single crochets into the space and one single crochet into the stitch all the way along until you reach the corner. When you reach your corner, still do those two double crochets into the space before and your single crochet into the stitch. And now your corners get one single crochet 
At chain two, rotate your work a little bit so you can work along the next side. And one more single crochet into that same corner space. And one single crochet into that stitch. Just like that. And now keep going making your two single crochets into each space and one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And corners are single crochet into the stitch, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the space, and single crochet into the stitch. So keep going like that all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. When you get back to where you joined, we're gonna make one single crochet into that stitch right at the beginning. That counts as our single crochet into the stitch. And this is going to be our corner. So we're going to do our chain one. And we're going to single crochet into the top of that first stitch right here. We're going to join right there. So put your hook in and single crochet to join. That lines us up right in the center of our corner. And chain two. One and two. Turn your work. Into the space, wrap your yarn, one half double crochet, and one half double crochet into each stitch. All the way along the side of your blanket. So keep working along this side, making one half double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when you get to your corner. So work into that stitch right before the corner, one half double crochet, and now into the corner, one half double crochet, chain two, and rotate your work. Wrap your yarn and one more half double crochet into that space, and one half double crochet into that first stitch. And now keep going, making one half double crochet into every stitch. And your corners are half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet. So pause the video and keep working all the way around and I will meet you when you get back to where we started this row. When you reach back to where you joined, right into this corner space, one half double crochet, chain one, rotate your work a little bit, and we're gonna make our single crochet right into the top of that chain. So right there, and we wanna get two strands on the top of our hook. So single crochet to join. And now chain three. One, two, three. So this is the short side of my blanket, so I'm not turning my work. We wanna go back along the short side of our blanket. Chain two, one and two and one double crochet into this very first stitch. Right into that hole, one double crochet. One double crochet into this next stitch right here, one double crochet. And now one double crochet into each stitch all the way along this row. So pause the video and keep going, making one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of this row. Into the corner space, two double crochets. One and two. And chain two, one, two. If you chain tightly, you can do a chain three. And turn your work. Now we're working back along this side, doing one more row of double crochets. We're gonna make our first double crochet into this second stitch right here. Because our chain two or chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we're going into this next stitch right here. So one double crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the end of this row. At the end of your row, you have one last double crochet to work into right here. So one double crochet into the last stitch. So now get your stitch markers out. We want to mark out every fifth stitch and even it out from both sides. So for mine, I skip three stitches. One, two, three. I'm going to start my polka dots into the fourth stitch. So I put my stitch marker and then skip four stitches and into the fifth. 
There is one, two, three, four. Here is number five. And keep doing that all the way along. One stitch marker into the fifth stitch all the way along. And you want to end up with an even amount on the other end. So both of your ends are equal. It doesn't have to be three stitches. It can be four stitches. It can be five stitches. But you want to just make sure that both ends of your blanket, your polka dots, will be starting or finishing at the same stitch. Into this very first stitch right here, that's where we're going to start our single crochets. So one single crochet into that very first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch until we reach our stitch marker. You can take your stitch marker out. One single crochet into that stitch and our stitch markers, that marks where we're going to be adding our polka dot. So grab your first polka dot and you want to look for where we did our join. This little wonky bit up here, there's our chain. So we just want to go into any of those stitches. It doesn't matter, but we want to always be joining to this wonky bit. So find a stitch near that wonky join and get your yarn in front of it. So you want your hook to be here with your yarn in front and your polka dot to be just touching like this. Grab your yarn and slip stitch. Single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four. Take your stitch marker out and five. Get your next polka dot. Look for that join right up here. Put it on your hook grab your yarn and make sure it's all lined up like a sandwich. So we want our hook, our loop with our working yarn laying right in, in the middle like a sandwich and your polka dot on top. And just grab your yarn and slip stitch. One single crochet into each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, take your stitch marker out, and number five. Grab your next polka dot, look for that wonky bit right here. So we can go into any of those stitches along this area. Put it onto your hook, get your sandwich looking great, so you have your blanket, your working yarn, and your polka dot and slip stitch. Now keep going like this, one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Grab your next polka dot, look for the wonky bit where we joined, put it onto your hook, get your sandwich organized. So blanket, working yarn, polka dot, and one little slip stitch to join. So pause the video and keep working along, doing your five single crochets and slip stitching your polka dot to join. Keeping track of your sandwich, making sure it's all lined up, and that'll keep our join looking exactly the same and super cute, hanging forward. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. At the end of your row, when you've joined all of your polka dots, we're going to make our last single crochet into the top of that chain. So one single crochet and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So find the other end of your blanket pretty side facing up. We want to do our extra two rows of double crochet on this end as well. Find your corner working in to the front of your blanket, the front side. Put your hook into the corner space, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain two, one and two. If you joined your yarn in a different way, chain three. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into that first stitch. 
and one double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So keep working along this edge, making one double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when you get to your corner. At the end of your row, there is this double crochet to work into right here. So work into your last stitch. One double crochet, and one double crochet into that corner space. Just like that. Chain two, one and two, and turn your work. If you chain tightly, you can chain three. Our chain counts as our first double crochet, so we're not gonna be working into this first stitch. We're gonna start into the second stitch right here. So wrap your yarn and into the second stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet into every stitch all the way along this side. So pause the video, one double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So there's their last double crochet, and we're ignoring that chain again, because we want our edge to stay nice and straight. So now get your stitch markers out. We want to mark out every fifth stitch and even it out from both sides. Into this very first stitch right here, that's where we're going to start our single crochets. So one single crochet into that very first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch until we reach our stitch marker. You can take your stitch marker out. One single crochet into that stitch. And our stitch markers, that marks where we're going to be adding our polka dot. So grab your first polka dot. So find a stitch near that wonky join and get your yarn in front of it. Grab your yarn and slip stitch. Single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, Take your stitch marker out, and five. Get your next polka dot. Look for that join right up here. Put it on your hook, and just grab your yarn and slip stitch. So pause the video and keep working along, doing your five single crochets and slip stitching your polka dot to join. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. At the end of your row, when you've joined all of your polka dots, we're going to make our last single crochet into the top of that chain. So one single crochet and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.